Boppers in the background. <laughs> Go ahead and get this thing started. I'm gonna hang out a little bit here, make sure the uh, the audio quality is good. It looks like everything's work. I updated my computer, and since then we've had to try to figure out what was working and what wasn't. Cast a few spells. See if we need to adjust anything. Do 
do that. Cut this music. Welcome in. I'm Commander John J. Beck. Whoa. I'm hearing a reverb there. Reverb going on there. We get it. Do we get it? Cut this desktop audio. Let's see if that helps. Anything happen if we cut this desktop audio? hear anything I don't hear anything extra sounds good okay all right I think we figured that out sweet good news okay it didn't it didn't completely stifle us the uh, the thing going down beautiful all right we're good to go <laughs> beautiful figured it out on the fly five minutes left in the game <laughs> now I was like yeah let me update my computer that'll be a great thing to do right this second before we start streaming and then did went back in and nothing worked all the audio settings were completely reversed back to before I sat there and edited the whole thing to make sure it sounded good everything changed nothing was the same get my music up there we go nothing worked so like, oh, great here we go here we go can't wait. So excited. All right. So I, we only have one thing to do. We literally waited. The lady woke up. Actually, did it last night. I told her I would wait so she could do her little uh, her little achievement. She wanted to make sure she got an achievement. She's behind me lurking. So she might pop in the screen every once in a while lurking. I don't see her yet, but she's going to pop in there. You best believe she's going to pop up all creepy in the background. A little creeper. But I waited so she could do that achievement. She got it done last night, so we can go ahead. and. I Actually, the weird thing was I got the achievement for level 40, even though you can clearly see. We're as close as you can go. At level 39 and a half. So, all we have to do is go to the... Uh, Headmaster's uh, study. Looks like we got, still got time on uh, farming right there. So let's go ahead. Oh, Deke. Thank you so much, Deke. Appreciate you, Burbo. Let's go get some Mallow Sweet. I know we're going to do... I'm going to try to get all of the Merlin Trials done. Every single one of them today. Because that's another achievement. So it would be nice... Yeah, I'm going to turn this thing down just a little bit. It would be nice to have the Merlin Trials... I actually might not play with a headset soon. I might just go off the TV volume, see if I can link that in somehow. To where I don't have to play with a headset and I can just hear it, but you guys don't hear a reverb. Because it's going through the Xbox into the capture card, but if I could find a way to just isolate it to where I don't have to wear the headset, that'd be nice. I like to just game regular in front of the TV. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, actually Deke, uh, that's all. another time. Got a lot more stuff that I can do that I... Usually it'll give you the uh, exclamation point, letting you know everything that's new, but it didn't do that. 
So I need to go. Yeah, I got a totem. Yeah, the oddity shelf. This was definitely something that I want to. Let me find out where I can put this thing. I just got this thing. Gonna have to take some pictures off the wall. I ripped all of your posters off the wall. Let's go in here. Nice spot right there. Let's see what this has on it. Uh, okay. Just like more totems, it looks like. Okay. Okay. So that one's in like three of them. And then, yeah, look at this one. The Phoenix Crest. Hogwarts Crest. I like that's red and purple. Alright. Nice little skull. Okay. Alright, what do we get? We did get some different tables. We got some nice medium sized tables. For some reason there's not like a medium gothic one. That's kind of what I had going on in this room. But it's... But I like this one right here. The large decorated uh, scientific table. I like that a lot. Let me rotate that. Something like that. She looks good right there. We got a large botanical one too. We might put over here. Nice little decorated botanical table. Our, our little botany station's looking good over here. Look at that thing. Very nice and neat and organized. Look at that. Look at that. Thestral, Thestrial, not Thestral, uh, statue right there. <laughs> Extra to Thestrial. Yeah, so many more. We gotta get the huge decorated table, then I could take, oh, there is a decorated gothic. I just haven't found it, it looks like. Ooh, there's a wizard chess table, a card game table, Quidditch, medium, oh, so there's, yeah, there's medium tables I gotta find, too. Some statues. Eh. We gotta find the Christmas tree one. We did get some new artwork. Floating island and stuff. I'm gonna take some of the pictures down that we have in here. Yeah, we got a standing clock. Oh yeah, how big can we make this clock? Oh yeah. Giant clock. Actually, where should we put this clock at? Probably here instead, right? Bam. Our giant clock. Tables, lots of globes. We got a knight we got to put somewhere. I'm going to put two knights on this wall over here. Yeah. So we got an armored knight. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make a little triangle here around this statue. Put the armor knight in front. Come on. Come on now. Oh, we can only put it... Ah. Oh, how big is that statue? See how that looks. Ooh. And then right here. What should we put... This is probably, we'll put the chess table here with some chairs. 
And our nice little scientific table over here. We'll put some chairs around this thing. Well, we don't need to do that. We're not defending ourselves, so we don't need to do that. Okay. That's all wall hangings. We did get some new rugs. We got a large gothic rug. I don't really want to cover that up. Let me put this under here. Yeah. Actually, what do we get? We can get a botanical. Uh, we'll do the botanical under the other one. For now, let's do this one. Let's do the botanical under this one. Let me go this way so I can see it. I look right. I just eyeballed it. That looks right. Could be, yeah, it looks right. I eyeballed it. It's not bad for an eyeball. Not bad for an eyeball. All right, getting a little interior decorating going on in here. All right, let's see some furniture we got going on here. Gothic desk. Yeah, let's put another gothic desk over here. Actually, which one do we like? Yes, yeah, scientific desk here. And some seating. Edit this one. I'm going to move this thing. There we go. There we go. A little couch over there, a couple chairs. Edit this table color. Do green or black? Let's do black. Nice. Edit this thing. Nice. Got a little scientific station over here. We'll move some of the. Uh, some of these paintings down. We might do our little. Get rid of it! Do some wall hangings over here. Tree illusion, astrological diagram, beast diagram. Alright, I like this one. Wow, really? This is something they do need to to fix, cause like I've got to pull this whole table out now, essentially, because it can't be against the wall. Because if it's against the wall, it messes up. Let's move these chairs out real quick. Let's move them out. Honestly, 
Let's just go put him because I, I got to rearrange all of them anyway, and that's just way more work. No reason to do that. So let's pull this table off. Let's pull it out there. We'll move this couch out too. Go over here. What am I doing? Bam. So I think if we if we move it off the wall, it should allow us to. I want the rug, please. Not the whole floor. Come on now. Come on now. Help us with this rug, please. Go this way a little bit. That looks right. I'll add those chairs back around. Let's pull this sucker off the wall as well. Just a little bit. And now we can add this stuff back in. That works. Oh, it doesn't. That's something they're going to have to fix. It's like you can't change the pictures. Whatever pictures are on that wall have to stay on that wall. So now, let's see if we can just can we change the wall. I guess we could do that. Let's just do a scientific wall and see if that allows me to... Why? Why? Why can I not? Why can I not put it there? I moved everything away. Occupied by what? Jesus. Not happy. Not happy. Okay, let's try it again with nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's literally nothing there. Okay, well that's dookie. I guess there's no reason to even try that. There's no reason to even have a blank wall. Now I have a blank wall with nothing I can put on it. That is lovely. Interesting. Very interesting. So now I can't even get the artwork back on the wall that was there. I find that to be just interesting. Alright, a little sinister oddity shelf. And then over here, let's put... Go with our house banner here. How far? Right there. Bam. We're gonna, I guess, build around this thing? I don't know. Not really happy with that. That's kind of dookie. So let's do... This looks... So much like Beauty and the Beast, it's not even funny. <laughs> Alright, nice little gothic clock there. Honestly, what we're gonna do now, since that whole plan got poo pooed, is I think we're gonna build stuff to go in front of that. 
that wall instead. So instead of uh, actually decorating the wall, which we can't do, we're just going to get a little bit more creative here. Put that sucker right there. And then we'll just build the table and everything right there in front of it. Um, yeah, let's see here. What else can we put in there? Let's go get of that. So let's see. Could do something like that. I like these decorations better. Let's put a... not bad you know what I think we kind of made that work it's not perfect it's not what I wanted but I feel like we kind of made it work we kind of made that work all right so let's get this table back There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I tell you what. It fought us every step of the way. We created something real nice right there that I'm happy with. Now let's add these things back in. Gonna make this table black. Now we're going to add that rug underneath. It really wanted to fight us every step of the way. That look right. Let me go around and check. We can actually pull that thing a little bit out this way. Yeah, the whole floor. Pointing at the one rug. The whole floor. Do the whole floor. That's the table. Jesus Christ. My goodness. Will you pick the damn rug? Rug, homie. Rug. Not the whole effing floor, the rug. The effing rug! Thank you! Holy shit. Oh, this glitchy ass room. I'm about to throw it. I'm pointed at the damn rug. Pick the fucking rug. It's getting really frustrated by this stupid shit. Pick the rug. I swear to God. Thank you. It deletes the rug. It won't move the rug, but it will delete the rug. God. This is the last time I ever decorate this damn room. Promise. Not if it's... I keep can't put nothing on the wall. Fuck, man. Just trying to move it. That's where it's going. I'm not touching it again. It's actually... I'm not... It's actually perfect, isn't it? No, it's way too far that way. God knows it'll take me another 35 minutes to try to move this damn thing. Oh, it did a first try. It knew I was getting frustrated. It's like, ooh. Don't move. There's no moving it now. Actually, it's it's working now. I don't know why. I mean, it's not really working because this thing is so finicky. 
every single time. Yeah, it's just no. There's there's no point in me even trying, honestly, to move this stupid rug. It's this is frustrating. Like it won't. I just want you to go left or right. Like God damn. Man, that's frustrating. Because you can't get it. That's as close as we're going to get it. And it's not even really that close, honestly. It's just like... Way that way. Way that way. Way that way. Move one thing over. We just only need a half step. This thing sucks. That's as close as we're going to get it. I'm not even going to look. Jesus. <laughs> the most difficult building experience ever. Despite all of it, though. Not bad. Yeah, it's not actually... Oh, there we go. <sighs> this is the last time I ever designed this room. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. I don't know how you sit on that thing though. You gotta get you gotta slide in there, we're gonna move that thing back. Uh, there we go. Yeah, actually okay, I see how you use it now. Okay, that's too far. Alright, where's the metal? Where's the metal? There we go. There we go. Alright, let's take a step back. Let's look at this thing. That's about as good as it can be. I, you know, I really wanted something in the middle. It didn't work out. But we were able to nonetheless build a pretty decent little thing right there. I'm happy with that. Look at that. Whole botanical garden. Our statue with our knights guarding it. Our little scientific section. Complete with globe and oddities. Books galore. Spilled ink. Our little station over here for clothing. Man, that was frustrating. Honestly, do we need this clock? Take that clock out for now. Don't touch the artwork on the wall because you will never get it back. It's so ridiculous. We got a nice little station in here. Look at this. Got a little reading section in here with a little couch you can read on. This would be my girl's favorite section in the whole place. <laughs> you should be proud of all the Speaking of that, Deke, let's put some potions. Might as well. Might as well. Nice. Got some potions brewing. Think you've made marvelous. 
Thanks, Deke. It was a struggle, bro. I don't know if you saw all that. But man, that was hard, Deke. You wanna get a broom, dude? You're like dropping all of that candy on the floor. Good for you. Dropping all the candy right on the floor. Arrest them, <laughs> All right, let's go do this thing. We waited long enough. Our girl was making sure that, uh... Oh, thanks, babe. She sent me a little message instead of just talking to me. <laughs> She's the MVP, though. The real MVP. You the real MVP, mama. Are you watching right now, Joel? Are you watching right now? All right, let me. All right, so we got to go to the headmaster's uh, little uh, office. We gotta go to the trophy room. <sighs> oh, I'm in the wrong one, all right. There we go. Said to the trophy room. Oh, there's the chest behind the behind Slytherin, and the common room I haven't gotten yet. I totally forgot about that one. Because there's a level 3 lock, I think, right there. I haven't gone there yet. There's so many things I can get. I left a lot of the... I wanted to wait till I was level 40 before I grabbed a lot of the, like, uh, legendary uh, chest. Just because then you'll get everything at a much higher level if you like it. Not that it matters, because I'm not sure what the best pieces in the game are anyway, so who knows, but... I just figured that was the best thing to do. Yeah, we'll get that key. It's literally just this last secret. Yeah, we literally stopped one door away. We're like, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, we got that level three lock too. We knew where it was, but we had to wait. Like, you know, we wanted to... We obviously wanted to, to have a... You know, a happy girlfriend. She was like, you've done everything. I haven't done nothing. <laughs> Y'all can see the death stare I'm getting right now. She's gonna creep in eventually. <laughs> A creepy shadow on the wall behind me. <laughs> you said. <laughs> Jump off. Let's go here. Professor Black. Oh, there's stuff we can get up here too. So there's the key we need. Oh, look at that. It's a nice little window to look out of and think. Right, so where is this? Where is this thing we're missing? Right, it's back in the office. Some field guide stuff in here. Rebellion. Uh, is that just that lock? Uh, I'm pretty sure I got that when I did this mission. Alright, let's go back. Let's go ahead and get this one. Hala, 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 hala. Allen wrench. All timers. That's not it. Rebellion. Mm. I 
Because it's got to be in here somewhere. There it is. Where is it? What am I missing? Is it just this chest? Rebellion. Huh. Maybe it's below me. My right. No, it's this way. Alright, yeah, it's gotta be. I think it's in that room. I think it's just that chest. I thought there was a Rebellion. Maybe it is in here. All right, here we go. Finally, level forty. Waited as long as we could. <laughs> ah, she's rolling her eyes. She's over it. There it is. There it is. We done it. All right, let's spend this talent point. Get that one as well. What transfiguration? I don't care about those potions. I mean, it's literally over, so it doesn't even matter at this point. Yeah, let's do this one. Ah, uh, there it is. One percent. Really? Only one percent at level forty so far. That's crazy talk, man. Now we can go to Weasley. All right, we're done. Hundred percent. There's still lots of stuff to do, though. We still got lots of uh. Rebellion. Go ahead and open this now, since we're level forty. I just like to hug the inside of the stairs. Yeah, it's in here. It's like, man, what is that? I literally watched her do it last night, and I'm still like, man, I don't know where this is. Ash brown. And ruins. Nice. Okay, so let me look at that. Wand handle. I guess I got four more to get. That's good. It's cool. That one's nice. That one's pretty good. I think my favorites are that one, that one, and that one. Rock that one for a little while. All right. We can go to Weasley anytime we want. Finish this thing and win the house cup. I don't know what, what you have to do to win the house cup, but let me go ahead and get everything up here since we're here. Run through all the smoke. Man, it's really hard to see. Professor Black is going to be very upset. He's like, who was in my office? Rebellion. All right, let's go ahead and go in here. Let's get all this stuff. Bam! Another good piece. There's stuff in there. How do I get that stuff? Where is that stuff at? Yeah, why is it so foggy in here? What's going on right now? What's going on with all this fog? It's kind of tripping me out. Rebellion. We are actually level 40. Can I leave anything in here?
That's nice. Revelio. So that's his office. I think I left stuff in here, not because there's stuff I didn't want to get yet. Ooh. Rebellion. Hmm. I am a little confused. I feel like I'm still seeing stuff that I haven't gotten. She finally let me finish the game, bro. Nah, she did it last night. So I was like, alright. I can actually play today and uh, finish this thing. It was like her first mission last night, though. She literally logged in, looked at it, and was like, oh, I can do it. I'm like, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Rebellion. And she was like, pop, 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 pop. Got it all done. So all this stuff is below me. Yep, down that way, I think. There's nothing else in here, so I'll make sure. It just opens right away now. Sweet. We went up and got that. Welcome in, dude. What you been up to today? Okay, yeah, there's nothing above me. Rebellion. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a few more things on here. I gotta finish the house cup. But then after that, I mean, there's... Yeah, there should be a level 3 lock right there. After that... Hello, Homura. On that dresser, there was a letter. I'll go back. The room I just left. Rebellion. I don't even know where this is. Distinguished school robe. Yeah, we're finding all these right here. Now that we're level 40, all this stuff's going to be way better. Letter from Professor Weasley's brother. Need some nuts. Rebellion. Alright. You said it was back here? Was it up? It's in here, right? Yeah, in there. I totally was not even looking for that. All right. I think we got all that. Thank you, dude. I totally was not even looking for that letter. I'm just like trying to get all these chests and see what kind of equipment. All right, we did everything we could do in here, right? Unless it's a secret Rebellion. passageway. All right, good there. The ray tracing it does make everything very bright, which is nice. Yeah, there's so many things in Hogwarts I haven't even gotten yet because like. I was focused on the main story, so now there's... How do we get to there? That might be downstairs. And then go back up, because I don't see anything. Yeah. That's got to be the other way. What you been up to today, dude? Yeah, it's got to be around here somewhere. It's got to be Rebellion. back this way somewhere. around here so 
if we missed anything. Yeah, I think it was next to that. Yikes. Alright, so it's up there. How do we get up there? Because that goes down, so it can't be that way. I didn't see any, so it's got to be in here somewhere. It's got to be in here somewhere. So each house has one special mission. Yeah, so she did Ravenclaw, which essentially she had to get a locket, I think. Uh, mine was the relative of the headmaster had like a special thing that I had to do. Hufflepuff, I believe you have to go to Azkaban. And then Gryffindor, you do something with uh, Headless Nick. Right, it has to be up. So I had to miss something up here. Yep. Yeah, I forgot you're not a Harry Potter guy. You don't even know what Azkaban is. Alright, there's got to be something right here. There's got to be something here that we open or do. How do we do it? How do we do it? There's got to be something here. Because this just goes up the steps. So there's got to be a way into that room. Right? This just goes up. Yeah, see? There's a way down. There's a way down there. How do we get under this room? Can we go outside? I don't see any way outside. Revelio. Huh. And I don't think going up helps. It's like right under us. Is there another set of steps mirroring that set? Uh, nothing under that. That goes back down. Okay. Rebellion. Hmm. Maybe if we go outside of Dumbledore's office, we can figure out a way in. Alright, so. That goes up to Dumbledore. And that's like two or three flights too high. So let me see if there's a way out of here. Because uh, this goes up too. I don't think there's... So there's nothing that goes outside here. Hmm. How to get to this room? It's got to be either in that office, or it's got to be something to do with the statues inside the trophy room. There's got to be a secret passageway somewhere that gets you into that room because I don't see. We'll try this. Can we, yeah, we can take off. Will it let me out? Nope. Ah, there we go. Let's see where this thing is and see if we can pinpoint it. I don't think this is helping at all. Rebellion. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is there way down there? <laughs> yeah, it's way too low. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, so... Hmm. I thought maybe if we came outside, we could get a better idea. It's like as high as we can fly, isn't it? Is it going to let us back over? No, it won't. 
<laughs> they were smart enough. They were like, yeah, no, because then you can just get there. They let me out, but I don't know how to... Will it? Will it? Come on, let me in, let me in. Yeah! There's got to be somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I don't think it's here, because this only leads up here to this thing. It's got to be in the uh, the trophy room. Because that's like a little bit below it, so maybe some steps go up. Because that just leads back to this room here. Alright, there's no steps there. Hmm. That leads to that room which goes up. Rebellion. And there, okay, so that's where it is down there. So, as we come down... Yeah, see. So it's right under this. So it's under this. So I'm not seeing anything. So. Rebellion. Let me see if there's something in here. Apple real quick. <sighs> Have you decided uh, if you're gonna get it and if you do what house you do? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here either. Hmm. So I'm not seeing anything in there. Rebellion. Yeah, it's got to be a way in here. But I'm not seeing. Because it's like right in here. So, this is the other thing. It's like maybe there's a door or something here. That opens. Yeah, I'm going to try the trophy room. It's right here. It's like right there. You can see... Just walk into it. Here I am, not trying to like walk into it. All right, let's see. Morning, crystal grazing, discouraging. It was initially in my future. Okay, so this is just her office. I wonder how long it was taking anybody else that long to find that because they were not trying to walk through a wall. You just walk through it. Well, we got it. That's nice. Jeez. There's so many things I probably haven't walked through on accident. You know, seeing that. Did you just... Uh, I took the test and said I was a Gryffindor. Okay. So that's what, I, that's what I'm about to do this time. So, but I mean, you don't have to... But you can link that thing in and get the the wand, the wand and the um, the house you want. So you can do that. Rebellion. Okay, so we're good there. Mm -hmm. We did everything What's we had to do. We got lots of gear that we can go look at though. 105, 93, 106, and we'll go see what that is now. Let's go back to our room of requirement real quick. I mean, that's, that's what I did. I, people have always said I'm a Slytherin anyway, so that's what I was going to go with. Plus, when I, you know, heard that you could do the Unforgivable Curses, I really wanted to do that anyway. I bought the Dark Arts uh, pre-order pack, so that was all kind of going in the same direction there. She's going to do Hufflepuff on her next play. So she'll do the Azkaban one, and then I'll do the um, the Gryffindor. They definitely didn't do as much 
All I know is I get some perk to sleep with Hermione. Well, I don't know if you're going to want to sleep with Hermione in 1800. She's going to be an embryo, bro. She won't exist. She is going to be an embryo. Actually, she's going to be a sperm. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to want that, dude. <laughs> she's not even she's not even a thought. <laughs> Actually, her dad is not even a thought at this point. Bro, look, I'm like a professional herbologist. It took me a second to figure that one out. <laughs> Let me see. I, I keep doing this where I don't check the... Uh, okay. Freddy hasn't said anything. Yesterday I left uh, my buddy Freddy completely unread. And I went to text him like, Ah, oh, my bad, dude. He never responded, so I think he's hurt. I think he's hurt. Yeah, all that legendary gear, none of it is... None of it is better than what I have, so. Let's see. 193.110. So it looks like I discovered it at 38, which is why it's not. Because I think that's what happens is. Whenever you discover it, that's whenever you see it, I think. 107, so we need to upgrade that thing. Ah, there we go. We can upgrade that. So we got one upgrade. Ooh, that has unforgivable one. I need to figure out. 103, 108, 110. Okay. Let me move this. I don't remember what that was on. Ooh. <laughs> Very debonair. All right, let's step. Um, man, I was really hoping those would be better. All right, upgrade that. Let's see what traits we got here. We're gonna. We need to go find some more of these traits too. This is the one thing that. Uh, oh, we got unforgivable too, but I don't think we have three. This one's really good. Herbology's really good if you actually use that. Yeah. So we just haven't found. We haven't found some of these right here. This is the one I want to find. This is the one I want to find. So until we find that one, let's go ahead and do concentration. Bam. Cause that does all of your all of your red spells. So that one's completely maxed. That one's good for now. I'm sure we'll find some better. Some better stuff here. Can upgrade this one. It's not. It's only thirty nine, so I'm not gonna upgrade. I'm not gonna waste upgrade points on that. Cause we're about to go sell this stuff off. We're gonna go sell this stuff. Do these skin perks go to your next run through? No, there's not new game plus. I'm sure that they will add new game plus, um, at some point or do all that. Let me sell this stuff real quick. I think that eventually they will um, add that in. I'm not sure. It would make you, I mean, it would make you way too powerful. But I guess if you could do like, you know, because this is on normal. 
this is on normal, so I'm sure starting. I'm gonna do a completely different. So I'll show you my um, talents I did this time. We will probably do a lot more stealth next time because it's gonna be on hard. So because of that, we'll probably max this out next time and even do more of this. Because it's going to be on hard, I'll probably use more plants and stealth and probably won't do some of this other stuff. Like the dark arts, I might spend less on that. Like especially... Uh, Imperio. I feel like I'll say I won't do those, some of those. You know what I mean? I'll do all the spells. I won't do as much dark arts. And I'll do way more of this because it's going to be on hard. So that way I can be a little bit more stealthy, use a little bit more plants. I did that one on this one, and it's... It's pretty good. I mean, you can literally just, as soon as you start cursing all of them, like you use all of your uh, your unforgivables, you'll use this one, you'll put that one there. And then this one also curses them, and then you hit them with some of these and it'll put a curse on them. And then once you get curses on each individual person, you use this one and it will kill like four or five guys at one time. So that's one of the best things you can do. Come in, look around, this and stuff. if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Oh, that was 40, but it wasn't as good as the stuff that we already had. Yeah. We're going to sell anything that's just not as good as the stuff we have, because you get the skin, so you don't have to worry about it. At eight. Uh, there's thirty-nine. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Yeah, so this, a lot of this stuff is already better than. There's probably a few things we can still find out in the world that are going to be better than what we have in here. All right. Go buy those. See, that's why I didn't upgrade everything. Yeah, I saw you couldn't kill people in certain areas, so they should add an old Elder Scrolls setup. And so, I don't know. They they really, I think, wanted to stay away from, like, the um, morality type thing. Because you can do that in... Um, although, there is some of it because I... Um, Got this, uh, got this side quest mission, right? And then the guy asked me to go get something that was in a land full of spiders. I did. Uh, inside that land full of spiders, it was a challenge. Not really a challenging mission, but, you know, I mean, you had to play it for 15 minutes killing spiders. So I come back and I give the guy his thing, but I'm like, uh, it'll cost you. And he's like, ugh. You should have joined the the Ashwinders. So he's like saying I should have been a bad guy. And uh, now he won't sell to me. Hello there. Come on in. He literally won't sell to me now. So. All right. Let's go ahead and buy all this stuff. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Since we got the money, Nothing might as well just unlock all this right stuff because we literally can. No, it won't let you. Which was the part that was so frustrating. Because I was... Let me know if there's anything else I can do so ready to murder that dude. I was like, oh yeah? You're not going to sell to me? And it wouldn't let me do it. it just wouldn't let me. Alright, yeah. There's really nothing else I need that I can buy here. And I'm pretty sure. Your 
back. Nice to see I, you. I already have this one, do I? Do I already have this that one or no? Item is of the highest quality. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I do. So he's trying to sell me a broom I already have. Why, bro? Alright, so let's go back to the castle. Have you seen any of the mods on this? You've been watching any of the, the mods on uh, some of the computers? My favorite is uh, I was watching somebody fly on Shrek. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, I was watching some Harry Potter for the first time yesterday. It was Lindsay Lohan is Hermione on SNL. That's actually a really funny episode. I remember when that one came out. Alright, actually, let's do this before we go to upgrade. i do some of this. Oh. No, come back. They're all going to the feeding station real quick. You gotta get them before they get to the feeding station. You gotta get them quick. Get them. Because you can't interact once they start eating. You gotta wait. Oh man, look at that little creep. <laughs> Bloop. Bloop. Alright. That should be good. I like this one a lot. I feel like this one it has every animal that I wanted to be in here. It's like a little little grassy field with cats and puff balls and little birds. I don't even know where this one's running. This one's just running. <laughs> Straight left. Oh, wrong one. Little cat. I think we're going to upgrade the... I remember when... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago, dude. Ooh. A minute ago. I'm trying to remember. Is it Bush? What's up, dude? What you up to? You playing on PC or did you get it for a console? I don't think you ever responded to uh, the message I sent you the other day. On if you had done the... Uh, Taking a little break from Hogwarts and eating some food. All PC, baby. Yeah, I don't know if you if you know, Thomas. That's my bro. Severus is my bro, bro. Um, you were supposed to be Sean Connery. Right? I think so. I not what your mother said, Trebek. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. I'm pretty sure that's what we did, and then... But I know I did a George Bush one, too. Maybe that was... Maybe that was an interview. Yeah, now the celebrity was Sean Connery. You were... Keanu Reeves. Tom was... Definitely Alex Trebek. Was there another person? I think there was another person too. Pretty sure there was one more person. But again, do not remember. It has been years. I mean, what, 15 years? 16 years? Something like that. Uh, 
Code Warts. We also talked about doing Night at the Roxbury skits. Yeah, I remember that. I do remember that one. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, we still got to get Ribbeth. We got to go find Ribbeth. Yeah, I figured out how to um, cut the audio. How are you liking late gameplay? I haven't, I haven't really done enough of it yet. I mean, I literally just got to level 40 about uh, two and a half seconds ago. So I'll let you know. I'm about to do the... Um, Where's this giant frog at? There he is. I'll let you know. We're about to... I just wanted to collect this stuff and do one more upgrade. Because I got some new gear I want to upgrade. And then as soon as... Yeah, four years is our 20th reunion. Yeah, I'm not going to that. So... I won't be going to that. I don't know if I'm ever going to do, do something like that. I'll let you know in a second, bro. We're, we're literally right where we need to be for that. Ah. They're too close. They're spawning too close. Ah. Got to get them quick. Got to get them quick. I didn't go to the 10th either. Like, why would I go to the 10th? That's not even enough time, honestly. Plus, the people that I interacted with in high school, I, like, still kind of talk to anyway. You know what I mean? Not all of them, but a lot of them. Like, Counts lives out here. I talked to Ed here and there. I saw Chris not too long ago. You know what I mean? Like the people that I talk to, I talk to. It's not like, you know, back in the day when you didn't talk to people. Like, there are apps. So if you still wanted to communicate, you already could. Way over there. <clears throat> I really missed quite a bit from every Yeah, I think a lot of people did. I mean, it was just like, you know. Grow up, go out. Grow out. Pretty much what happened. There was a while there. I mean, like, Counts lived in, uh, in Nashville. And that area, so I didn't even really connect that much. Because I was out here grinding for a while, just trying to to make it. I wasn't really talking to nobody. Just kind of like minding my own business, doing my thing. I got to figure out what the star on these Nifflers is. I got these from a interesting location, and now it's like... There you go, dude. Yeah, last time I saw you, I visited you and Chris at MTSU. Yeah, it's... And that was over 10 years ago. Had to be. Yeah, this thing. This little creepy little thing. Yeah, so the beast, man, like, once you start doing it, it starts going quick because he keeps giving you missions. I also pre-ordered, so I got the game four days early, so I was, like, pretty deep into it when it came out for everyone else. Plus, that was because I really wanted 
the dark arts pack. I really had this idea of like what I was gonna do with the character and all that kind of stuff. But it's pretty good. And pretty much, you know, this is your upgrade stuff. So you gotta come in here every once in a while and make sure you uh, you're doing this. This gets all your level three upgrades, and then some of these materials. I was joking. I was. Just talking about the yeah, the lack of morality system really let me down. Um I think possibly there could be another thing later. They said there's no DLC plan right now. But I thought it was going to because I've definitely used Savada Kadavra a lot. So I had read that they were going seems like a, a basic thing when you're saying you can be a dark wizard. Yeah, and I'm like a mixture. Like, you can't really be a dark wizard, because if you could, then you could probably help the goblins. So it's not like really you can do that. Fable is how old now? They figured this out already. Yeah, like the Fable system. Now, maybe there's going to be a whole other thing where they do that. Did you do the pre-order or no? Or did you just wait? Yeah, but not the upgraded version. Did, so did you get so did you get the dark arts pack or no? The goblins had no So it turns out ten bucks is Yeah, it really wasn't. That's why when people are like, Yeah, you know, I didn't I'm like, dude, it's just ten bucks. Now it only gets you a couple mounts and stuff, but there's a dark arts battle arena that I think you would like a lot. But not early access. Yeah, because I'll, I'll show you this. I'm going to go do this real quick and try to get the house cup and get over this over with. But it's weird because I feel like it just told me that like 1% had spent all the traits. But I looked and it said like 7% had won the house cup. So I'm a little confused about how you can win the house cup. And not spend all the points. Confused by that. Oh, yeah, I want to show you this dark arts uh, thing. What house did you choose? Oh, just went straight to a cutscene. <sighs> Slytherin. Yeah, same. How you like the common room? Pretty epic, right? No, we're doing our owls. We're doing our owls. Yeah, it's pretty epic. It's a pretty cool common room. Uh, can I choose Memphis, Tennessee house? Ah, uh, nah, I don't think they'll have that. Yeah, the Hufflepuff common room is in the kitchens behind the thing. It's got some good qualities to it. But the, the mission you get to do to go to Azkaban is worth it. The star means the beast is shiny or rare. It's apparently a challenge to get all of the shiny beasts. Oh, well, I got one of them. We got one of them. So I know where to get that one at. I wonder what that star means. Okay, so we're going to have to go... Yeah, I got more tasks to do. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> Thanks for looking that up. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Thanks, Sharon. This year we have seen our students exemplify the All right, let's see if we want it. Yeah, replayability. Um I'm hoping that eventually there is some type of morality system. Because I'm going to replay it. Let me let this go through so I'm not talking over this. Yeah, 
this year's house cup. Excuse me, headmaster, if I may. Yeah, this is literally just like the movies. Grip Slytherin! Right. <laughs> right at the end, they're going to change the winner. Not to mention the level to which they have excelled oh. in their course. There we are. As a new student, Looking like a Death Eater. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits. Hmm, I'd say. 100 points to their house. Here we are, cheating again. Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. <laughs> I suppose we have our winner. <laughs> They're like, yay! They have no idea. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for almost burning the entire place down. 100 points to Griffin! <laughs> Congrats, Slytherin. I know, right? The audio is seeking up. Is it a little off for you? But the game seemed off a bit. I, I literally, um, I uh, updated my computer, and since then, it's been a little finicky. Oh, that just might be his mouth. I'm not sure. I'll shoot some uh, as soon as this gets done. I'll shoot some spells off, and you can tell me if it's a little bit off. I was just talking about how I haven't really been experiencing the glitches and then two seconds after saying that I was like stuck on a ladder yesterday where he was like above the ladder going like this. So see Warner Warner Brothers Games Montreal. That's why I felt like Batman. I definitely felt like the combat system was Batman and that makes sense because it's literally like counter your ancient magic is like your takedowns and then your batarangs is pretty much the right trigger you can roll you can't jump over them but you can roll which is essentially the same thing and you get a whole bunch of spells that are different types of takedowns as well kind of yeah and then he has a stealth system similar to batman as well where you can walk up behind him and very similar to batman Which I like Batman, so it worked out for me. It's, uh, I would say the Merlin trials are a little bit Joker, Joker-esque as well, so. I'm just going to let this play through. Spent a lot of time working on it, so I'm going to let their credits run. Let these names get out there. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like the combat system. It reminded me of Batman, so no surprise it's Warner Brothers Montreal involved heavily. I actually need to play the new one. What's that for? Oh, is that the clip? Music's nice too. What level are you, Ryan? Mr. Severus. Twenty-seven. Nice. So yeah, you're you're probably what thirty thirty hours in. 
definitely going to replay it in a different house. I think that's also one reason why they're probably not rushing uh, with downloadable content is that there's four different houses that you can play in. You have to play a lot of the same thing again. Wish there were a few different, like, because you know you said you get the one. It'd be interesting if they had a few different missions for each house. Come on. There she comes. There she comes. You gonna make your biscuits? You make your biscuits and lay down? Or are you gonna go through that window again? <laughs> Alright, crazy. Ooh. Um, well, you're gonna have to sit sideways to do that. You're gonna have to ride dirty. To get a part of that. She doing, Kitty? No, it's about to attack. The unlocked mini game? Oh, you talking about the, yeah, the uh, Al Alhamara, the Abelkinizer, Alazar? Yeah, what? It it reminds me of a different one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I thought that level one was going to be that simple one. I thought that level two would be that plus like a right trigger type thing. I don't know. What was the game that you had the where you had to click it as you went through? Which game was that? You just had like you had like the lock picks and it's like and it had three different things. Might have been Thief. It might have been Thief, but I, I feel like there's another one too, wasn't there? Assassin's Creed? Yeah, so Assassin's Creed, which I think also is like Warner Brothers, isn't it? No, that one's Ubisoft. Ubi, Ubi, Abi, Ubisoft. Alright, this is, this really is a very long, uh, well, we might skip this one. We might skip past this. I want these people to get their shine, but... Could run this thing just a little bit faster. That would be great. <laughs> Glad you guys are watching on Twitch because YouTube has been so so for me. I feel like the YouTube stream goes down like last two or three, or do you mean Elder Scrolls? I feel like it's a couple of them. It feels wrong to skip cutscenes, but sometimes I don't care. Yeah. Just run, just run it faster. Just run it faster, because honestly, uh, when uh, Andrew Stewart, Chad Smith, I don't know who they are. It's nice that their names are on there, but I literally don't know who you are, so you could just do this faster. You just do this faster. Just scroll it faster. No, it wasn't harder, but it it does feel like maybe you just do the circular thing on level one, the circular thing plus a right trigger system on two, and then left trigger to hold it steady or something with the circular thing. Around. You could definitely find a way to make it, you know what I mean? You just use the sticks, then you use sticks and right trigger, then you, use, you hold left trigger as you're turning and then click right trigger. I, I don't know. There's some way you could have done it where you have to use multiple sticks, multiple triggers. You know what I mean? Yeah, Justin Parker, Brian Cox. You know what I mean? All these people. The immortal on Savannah Augustine. So. My issue is that you can't lose the minigame. Yeah. Yeah. And see that, remember whenever you used to like, the lockpicks would break? So you had to get it right or you would break lockpicks. Yeah, like there's like a cooldown, 30 minute cooldown system on it. Of course, if that's in a cave though, you would lose your mind. Because you, if you had to come back to a cave, which I'm going to have to do because I left a lot of the legendary, um, the legendary loot boxes, I left them untouched true i think and i think that once you got used to it you probably wouldn't mess up because like all the games 
all the games um also what if what if you actually had to use the wand like instead of it always zooming into the lock like when you get to level three if you uh had to actually use the wand to steady it or something i don't know there's definitely you know what i mean a way you could do it even the merlin trials i feel like after you there were a couple of them that were were a little bit more difficult i haven't played all of them yet yeah a wand type minigame i mean the good news is we're streaming this now so hopefully somebody will see some of this so if there's anything else you want to see definitely it'd be cool to be able to do online multiplayer story playthrough i don't know how you would do that or what you would do with that but if there was like a multiplayer online downloadable content that'd be cool uh there should be a dueling online dueling club for sure um because it just says it doesn't make sense to have this good of a combat system and then have no online dueling combat even if you had it like it was like a um almost like a you know how like a laser tag arena type thing just that arena with lots of like walls and things yeah and i and i get how some of it you can't do online co-op because some of the stuff is like you're playing shuffleboard essentially like wizard shuffleboard it's not that but you know what i mean it that'd be hard to do online co-op so but you it you could do like a good 10 to 20 missions online co-op you know what i mean exactly special that's what assassin's creed was you did a lot of it but then you had like 10 to 20 um meetups little meetup spots yeah exactly honestly though the online having online multiplayer multiplayer dueling competitions for like special wands and stuff special robes that should be a thing too almost like a mortal combat you know the mortal combat level up system you do that with different uh you can't use avada kedavra you have to use your spells everybody's at the same level there's no like different level thing it's just stock level with the spells that kind of stuff <clears throat> and with like you know a little mini map type thing a little uh thing where you have explodable explodable props and walls and stuff like that i don't know if you've encountered the frogs like the teleportation frogs but you put those in different parts of it so you can teleport to a different part of the little map there's different things you could do Yeah, these, these credits are long, but it's giving us a chance to discuss all the different things that they could put in here. So at least there's that. <laughs> at least there's that. So. Here, let me, uh, before anybody types anything else, let me clear this chat. Hold on. Better with friends. I think I, behind the scenes update clip for future update a bunch of Harry Potter characters and the guys pulled their outdoor wands and their girls were... Yeah, let me refresh this. Yeah, no, I think... Um, make sure I didn't miss any anything you guys said. Yeah, we're good. So, I definitely think... I don't think an online dueling... Because they already had a dueling thing in the game. Like, one versus two, two v two. So, there's, there's definitely... <clears throat> I think the framework for that already. Because that's part of the game already. Who knows about uh, Quidditch? Uh, it's going to be hard to explain to people who've never watched Quidditch <laughs> what the rules are. They're going to be like, what? But they can learn it. It's not too hard. I'm sure they could teach it in the game. It wasn't too complicated. Yeah, flying ball, and then you've got people hitting uh, hitting balls at you that you got to dodge. And then you've got two guys who are essentially above it looking for a gold flying thing to end the game if they're up obviously you have to be within a certain amount of points for the, that game to end and you win yeah so they already have battle arena so there there, there has to be a multiplayer co-op with ways of enemies i'm going to show you guys after this since we did this part 
I'm about ready to skip. I'm about ready to uh, to move on. I'm about ready to move on from this. We've been uh, we've been in this for a while. I was a huge fan of Blitzball for Final Fantasy. It could be a standalone game, so it makes sense they did a game in a game. Yeah, I definitely. They already have the pitch. There's also I just saw a practice one way out. I was flying out in the on the coast and saw a practice one. So I don't think it'd be too hard to do. They did delay the game for two years, so maybe they tried it and it just wasn't. They just they just weren't able to get it how they liked it. I guess I don't know. They spent two year a two year delay, so my guess is they tried to. They were unhappy with how how it looked, how it came together, how it played, and just took it out. That would be my guess. Because I'm sure they had to go back and forth on the decision to put it in or to leave it out. So, but the fact that they left it out probably means it didn't play well. Because I just can't see them not putting it in there. You know what I mean? They built the whole arena. So, who knows? I could be completely wrong. Who knows? But it would just make sense that it would be in the game if it was good. Like, why wouldn't you? Unless they're just trying to get another 30, 40 bucks off you and just wait and they already have it done. You know what I mean? That also could be the other part. They actually do have all the things that we're talking about already in the can, ready to go. And they're just playing coy. And then they're like, all right, 40 bucks. I know you spent 60 to 70 to get the pre-order, but... What's another 40? On oh, stuff that they already built. Very possible. Yeah, I'm done. Couldn't do any more. There it is. So it's it's weird that 8% have won the house cup, but only 1% had spent all the talent points. So, maybe they just have a point floating around they don't know about. I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure on that one. Alright, yep. All of our stuff is done. Alright, so let's go out here. Uh, there is a chest that we can unlock. Behind Salazar's Lily Slithery. There was a mod being created to make Hogwarts. Yeah, I read it, but on console, it'll work on PC. I don't have a PC, so for me, you have to get a chip apparently put in. But I know that if you have a computer, that they're already working on that. Level 3. Let's see what's in here. Hello, hello. Right? Look how easy that was. So I, I know what you mean about the lock system. Wow, that was um, not worth it at all. <laughs> I thought that was going to be way cooler. Where is this thing at? Where is this? Uh, it's going to be here. I'm never going to wear that. I'm never going to wear that. I'm never going to wear that. This is probably one of my favorite ones. That's for doing all of the coins. All the little tokens. I think that one's pretty dope. I like this one a lot. I don't know, really. This is the Merlin. This is for watching on Twitch. So if you keep watching on... Actually, not watching me on Twitch, but if you watch Avalanche Software, they have a thing that if you watch, you get this, this code here. That one's not bad. This is the pre-order one. That one's pretty sick. But I like that one a lot. They definitely spent some time on this one. This one, you put this thing on it. Where's that at? Ah, uh, yeah, that's dope. With, uh... Something like that. That's how I was rolling for some time. Yeah, I, I was reading that as well. Not reading it. I can't, obviously, I couldn't read a 
a YouTube video, but I was watching it and saying, seeing that they were talking about that, but you have to, uh, oh yeah. Go max those out for now. Wasn't there another one I got that I needed to max out? Maybe it was in here. No. Nope. Nah, it was that one. Poacher's coat. So we'll see. I think there's some some brooms. Sorry, I just smacked the shit out of that. There's some brooms I still have to find too. Because it looks like I've got quite a few more. I don't know if this is an indicator of like all the ones I haven't bought yet. But it looks like it. So. I'm reading a few articles. There is like the broom travel. Manu yeah. Yeah. Dueling. Dueling. I think is obvious. There is already a part of the game where you're in a dueling club. So it's already, that concept's already built in. I will say the balloons and stuff after flying for a while, it's not really easy to navigate the camera while flying. So I could imagine it being very hard. Now, of course, if you just had the counter system that you already have in the dueling as a part of, is that, what's this face? Oh. I know that uh, you've been you've seen this Severus, but he might not have seen this. So, this is the Slytherin common room. This is the aquarium in the windows. Giant octopus right there. Um, I don't know. There was a guy who said he saw um, a basilisk. Let me, let me refresh this chat real quick. There's a guy who said he saw a basilisk go by. He said he ran up here. Maybe not there. Yeah, it's weird that uh, scorpion pepper hot sauce in the eye. <laughs> he saw a, uh, a thing up there. Um, the other thing that I thought was strange is like, so these are the girls' dormitories, right? It won't let you go up there, right? But then if you play as a female, you can come down here into all the male dormitories. And it doesn't seem to be an issue. Some some guy was playing with his girl and they figured that out. Try putting it down your pants. Don't do that. So yeah, you get this one from this right here. And I think they're all different. It probably looks exactly the same except like Ravenclaw will have a bird. So... This is Slytherin's scriptorium right here. I won't do that because I don't think you've done that yet, Ryan. Mr. Severus. Okay, so let's go to this Dark Arts Battle Arena because I haven't been in it yet. Unless someone else is going to do that. Let me check real quick. Are you done the scriptorium? Only, only one curse so far. Nice. Let's go here and upgrade this stuff. I still have to find a couple different talents. So that's... I'm not done yet. Like, I'm going to start the new Gryffindor one today. But... There's still, like, a whole thing I got to do. Right, you should see how frustrated I was. I built this thing today, right? Let all this load in. All right, so I was building this today. So hard to move. I took the, the pictures off the wall, and I can't put anything i'll probably start it i'm gonna i probably gonna play we're at two hours now i'll probably play another hour and a half on this one to try to find more stuff and then after that i'll probably switch over like i really wanted to put some artwork oh yeah got all this new stuff hmm, let me see this hmm The eclectic one looks nice. Haven't looked at all this yet. 
think we have one of those. Oh yeah, look at this. With three, we probably we probably rebuild that whole uh, that whole section over there now. Catch you up. What have you missed? Everything. We beat the whole thing. You just missed the credits. What's up, dude? What are you up to? Yeah, we can probably rebuild this whole this whole station over here now. Fertilizer. Moonstones, you can evolve Jigglypuff into Wigglypuff. Pretty much. Ah, oh, these are cool. Oh, it's like a little two. Two station one, small. That's a T, okay. And we haven't used one of these yet. We'll put one of those in the, in the front. Pretty much we, we've gotten to the level 40, so max level. Uh, we won the house cup. Essentially, it got down to the final thing. And she came out of nowhere and she's like, oh, wait, wait, actually they win. And you're like, what? And, uh, you know, me putting the entire school in danger. Um, really want to, oh, I could put it there? Well. So, yeah, so pretty much yesterday. Oh, I can actually put stuff here. Okay, because I was having this issue earlier where I got pretty frustrated because I couldn't put, I was trying to put this here and it wouldn't let me do it earlier. I'm like, what? All right, so we can actually put stuff there now. All right, well, that's nice. Uh, and pretty much we're done. We're just going to go around now and finish doing all the stuff that we wanted to do that we didn't quite get to. Where is... Oh, that's weird. Floating island. Oh my goodness. So apparently we just had to go out. There we go. Now we can decorate this wall. I got frustrated. I was like, man, I cannot. I can't decorate this wall how I want to. Because I wanted to put this right here. Above our table. Let's, yeah, let's go a smaller size there. Because this is like our scientific table and we couldn't put anything on the wall. And I was like, man, what is, what is this? What is this? What is this? Swamp landscape. Oh, okay, because the light, the light's right there. Yeah, I don't like any of that artwork that's up there, so I'm going to. Oh, gotta go smaller. And I don't think that's gonna work. Do something like that. Is that possible? Nope. We might have to move that lamp. That lamp might have to go. But it's but dude, we, we got that uh, we got that playthrough done. Oh, that's a tiny picture there. There we go. I think that's good. It's framed. It's framed right. Look at that. Look at that section. I'm happy with that. We got our house banner. If if I, I you guys weren't watching, right? Moving this rug. <laughs> ah, you should have seen how frustrated I got with this damn rug trying to move it back and forth, trying to get that to stick in the right spot. But yeah, that's my little oddity scientific shelf. We got our three knights protecting our Thestral. We got our whole herbology station over here, which we could probably redesign now that we got new tables. I don't think we need to, though. This is our little upgrade 
Uh, we we need to change gloves. We got we got two of the same gloves in the same room, and that can't happen. Let's change this globe. There we go. Actually, ooh, don't do that. Nope, we want the globe. Is there a, ah, there's no color. That's good. So pretty much now we got to figure out what we're gonna do because we're like running around with nothing to do right now. So probably do some. How could you? How could you use the same gloves? I know. I don't know. I don't know, and I'm not happy about it. Let's do this one. Bam. So the things that we still have to find are some of the traits because we have unforgivable unforgivable two two <laughs> but we don't have three right now we have concentration ambush herbology is supposed to be really good herbology is like a 75 percent increase on all the plants you use in a fight so when you go out when you get to hard if you can find this one that one's gonna be really good manipulation for imperio but this concentration one is really good. Ambush. Supposed to be really good, especially when you're playing on hard. But I think... We're upgrading this one. That one had ancient mo magic. So we'll have to do this one as well. Let's go ahead and do that. we got to figure out what we're going to... All right, so we got ancient magic damage, which is supposed to be godlike. Then we have concentration. We need to upgrade this one. Nice. So we'll have to figure out. We want to change this one off of here. Let's do. Let's do one more concentration because if you start combining those all of your red spells with concentration have a huge damage increase so those are going to be like op now we'll do ancient magic on this one and this one and you, you don't want fill rate you want uh damage so now you've got ancient magic damage right there we've got two of those and on this one could do manipulation because I'm going to use that spell for sure or we could do the plants I really I'm going to do unforgivables I know it's only level two right now but once I find that one so yeah we can sell that one sell that one we're pretty good now we can sell oh there's still one more right there uh let's see we did unforgivable ancient concentration ancient Thought we did. Oh, we did. Okay, so we have one more we can do. <sighs> How about we do herbology? So now the plants are all gonna be crazy. All right, let's let's try these out. Let's try these out. You still with us, Ashton? You still with us? I don't know if you're still in here. We're gonna go to the Forbidden Forest, right next to Jack Doll's tomb. There is a battle arena somewhere in here. Where is it at? No, nope, there it is. And I haven't done this one yet. I've done all the other ones, but this is the one I haven't done yet. So we'll check. We'll, we'll test this one out real quick. Be able to swim. All right, so we'll do that. I hope you have your affairs in order. Could do worse than pillars and forks. Slippery. Explosive! Huh. And that woman. 
I think he died from Crucio, which I wasn't expecting. So yeah, these things are overpowered. Sabra, is she still watching before I use this thing? Yeah. I'm also in a, in a part of the map that's a little bit weaker because the Forbidden Forest is one of the first places you go. So it's not quite as strong. We got a, we've got a lot of ancient magic we can use too, so. I think let's build this thing up. Let's build all of our ancient magic up before we go in this room. There's like a little spider place over here. Let me let me go ahead. I don't need these right now. So let's go ahead and do Confringo, Bombardo, Incendio, and that one. Actually, no, let's, yeah, let's do that one. Because that works on spiders pretty well. Let's go down here. It's always going to be lots of spiders right down here. Yep. It's one of the best places to go right here. Handy resource. <laughs> Go ahead and get this. Gonna build up some of this ancient magic real quick before we uh, head in there. Come on. Where are these spiders at? I got some people up here. There should be a poacher's camp up here. Yeah. It's one of my least hair parts. It's shame, Paul. Start talking like that. Oh, look at these little creeps. Like definitely, like if you walked up and I'm not gonna hit him, but he did that to one of the beasts. It, it would be interesting if you like lost some morality points. You know what I mean? I do think there should have been something. That helped a little bit with the morality system, but, you know. Let me... Uh, let's go into this tomb real quick. There should be something in here. This Jack Doll's tomb. This tomb. Let's go in here right now. <laughs> Is there going to be something in here I can fight? Need some more spiders real quick. Oh, so it's already open. I'm like, dude, you don't have to do that. You've already opened the door. Are there going to be some in here? Can I get some? Can I get some? Yeah, here we go. Let's get this ancient magic combo up. I do like the multiple loadouts too. They really did good with that. Man. Let's go. I think down here there's some big ones. I'm gonna try to load this thing up before we go. The sound is off sync bad with the game. Maybe it's the PC. Hold on, give me one second. Let me see if I can fix it. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. Let me see if I can fix it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. 
Let me know if that fixes it or not. Let me know if that works. That was like a 30 second on what I just did. Fifteen seconds, well. I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. I'm not sure how to fix that. That might have to be like a stop streaming thing to fix that problem. Cause that might might be a latency thing. That might be a restart the stream type thing. Almost there. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Ah. Maybe you're trying to get chest again. Maybe the next stream. Yeah. Yeah, I updated my computer and literally all of the audio settings. I had to go back in, re uh, reinstall the uh, the microphone reinstall the xbox so there might be a setting i have to to fix i don't think there's anything i can fight in here we got pretty close i think we'll probably be able to uh oh it's like no you're not going in there again all right so let me go oh, we gotta go all the way back up this thing don't we We'll have to uh, look at everything. You eating? What you want for dinner? I broke the cardinal sin. Never ask. Exactly 10 seconds. Yeah, that might be... I'll probably, like, uh, when I'm done tonight, get back on. Try to readjust it. Did we go this way? I don't think we did. I think we just went this way. I think it's just this way. Yeah, there's a dead spider there. Yeah. Do a little test stream. See if I can adjust it. See if it sounds right. I don't think I went the right way. Oh yeah, there's more spiders right here though. Yep. I think we gotta go back up. Right, and around. Yeah, maybe. Yep, and then go to the right. Yep. We're almost there. We're like a one bar away. So now let's go to this dark arts thing. I still want to go in there with no ancient magic. Ready to go. Nope. Like, nope. We built that wall there for a reason, dude. You're not going over it. Then start it on console. I had it. I mean, it was. I had it pretty solid there, like this last week. 
And then I saw an update on my computer and I was like, oh yeah, let me go ahead and update it. it says it needs an update. Shouldn't have done it. Should have just waited. Should have just waited. Let's go in here. Yes. Yeah, I know. Should have never done it. All right, here we go. Okay. Bam. I know what you did to Tyrion, and I'll not forget you. Ooh. You will pay for your deed. There we go. See what I'm saying? Like, this should be really easy to do two on two. They need some walls, though, some things to hide behind. Go ahead hit them with these. Bam. Ah. All right, wave three. Oh, it, it just... It just like uh, it refills it for you. I don't even have to really worry about. Man. Where's my? I thought I had a. Oh, you can only... Oh, okay. So you can't do multiple loadouts. I'm, like, trying to get to my other loadout. It's like, no, nah, dude, you can't do that. That's not a thing. And then that one right there. <laughs> you can't put, stop put that one on there. <laughs> yeah, you can, but for some reason in this one, it's not letting me do multiple loadouts. So what I'll do is I'll probably do that one right there. Imperio. Yeah, I'll do this one. Oh, yeah. So exactly why you do that on the troll. Oof. Let him beat him up. <laughs> All right. All right, watch this. Ah! All right, see you, bro, bro. I wanted to show you about a cadaver because I know you haven't seen it yet or used it yet. So. So definitely do that on him. We're gonna go Crucio on somebody else. I'm gonna put this one on here for this one here. Boom. I'll be like three or four there. 
That's three. Venomous Tentacula. Bam. Do that one. Hit a ranger. There we go. Ah. Bam! Evaporated. Alright. Where's that? There. There they are. That's my favorite. Nice. Nice! We got a mask. Yeah, dude, that one. <laughs> dude, some of the ancient magic, like, Avada Kedavra is great, especially if you get all the curses right. If you hit them with the curses, you can kill three, four people at once. But some of the ancient magic stuff is like... Yeah, see, I was trying to do that. But it only lets you have one thing. So you have to hit right on the D-pad and actually do it. Which isn't bad, but it's like... You know what I mean? It's a whole extra step that you gotta do. That you gotta do. To do it. Sorry, let me respond to this. All right. Apparently, you can bet on the, uh, all-star game. I'm like, why would you want to do that? And there's absolutely no defense played. Why would you want to do that? All right. Thank you for coming in, bro. I appreciate you uh, you watching the stream. Very nice of you, dude. All right. So, what to do? What to do? I feel like what we're looking for is going to be in one of these camps so we're going to go camp to camp and we're going to find the unforgivable three we're going to find it because we've already got two and you can see how that worked oh you know what are you up to now Just come right in. Wrong one. There we go. Oh. Yikes. Ah. All right. And you just got to go get this chest in here. And this is how you clear these camps. And then when you get this chest, there's usually something in one of these. Where's this chest at? It's a special one. It's like a little... Where is it at? That's how you get the check mark on it. That's the. Where's this one that gives you the check mark? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, this one right here. This one gives you the check mark. Disarming too. Okay, okay, okay. And it might be a roll system. 
I'm not sure yet. So what are you doing? I mean, there's still enemies to kill. You can still do the battle arena and stuff like that. But I'm assuming there's still achievements and stuff that I haven't done yet. Because literally all these camps I didn't do. And this is something I probably should have done more of is getting these collections. So I think next time on the hard playthrough we're going to probably go camp to camp and do this stuff. I mean, look at this. A castle. We're going to start with this one first. This time. You think you're set on border? Good for you. Crazy. Hmm. Ah, it's a spider. <laughs> there we go. What's in here? What's this? Potato, stupid boy. All right. Wasn't much of a camp. Rebellion. Control three. There it is. It definitely is because this one's at like sixty. I think. I think I'm at like sixty hours. I don't know if we're gonna hundred it the second time, but at least I know what things can be more important. Because definitely, you know, getting a lot of these, uh, these camps done with the check mark and finding these chests so that you're able to, uh, you know what I mean? Probably should have been, would have been more important to do that. Yeah, got one up here. And we're literally just looking for one thing right now. So that we can put that on our... <coughs> on our thing. Yeah, let me not have the unforgivables out ready to go. <laughs> Alright. It's just so you can get these things. And I, I just wasn't on my mind at the time I didn't realize I like had no idea that that's where these things were there's a whole bunch of chests inside of the um There's laceration one. <laughs> Rebellion. All right. Yeah, I mean we're we're pretty close to being through. I don't even know if there's more brooms I can get. I might leave the shiny animal achievement to her. So she has something else to unlock. We still got to do all of these Merlin trials. Like, there are still a lot of Merlin trials to do for that whole thing. Because you got to do all of them for an achievement. As well. I think that's all the camps. Is there like a... So we got one more collection chest here. Which might be... Here somewhere. It might be in there. Nope, we got that one. We got that one. Yeah. Uh, maybe collector's cave. Yep. There's one. There's one we missed. So you see what I'm saying? There's still like stuff 
that we missed we definitely could have gotten and done I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there All right. refresh that one enter Rebellion. the collector's cave I think we've done this one already. We just got to go get this thing. Do that one right there. And technically, I like to do Confringa. I don't like this one as much as other people I think do. We'll do that. Bombarda, Confringa, Accio, and I think Arresto Momentum is better. Rebellion. Yeah, and that's all because of that one upgrade. That one upgrade makes that stuff super powerful. Concentration. I don't think we actually have to do that. Just gotta get this chest. I think I, I think I literally left this chest. Oh, that's. Wow, it's. It is overpowered now, that's for sure. Yeah, there's one in here. Probably at the very end. And I think because I was like such a low level at the time, I just left it. But I'm not sure that's going to make it better. There it is. Large square rugs. <laughs> uh, is that it? Is that really it? I think that is it. That was the chest we were waiting for. I'm pretty sure. Large square rugs. Yeah, I mean, not a doubt. Not a doubt that's the best. You know, you solved the trouble I had with the other rug. So, why not do that? Alright, I'm going to go out just to make sure that's it. But I'm pretty sure that was the collection item that we needed. Right? It was this way, right? Yep, and then... I know we almost fell in that. This way. The water is not looking familiar. Uh oh. Yeah, right. Fire oh, enemies that are dead that only get hurt with fire. All right, so we came from this way. Just for a large rug. It's got to be the best thing ever. We blew that door open. Did we jump down here and blow this? No, because we blew it in from that way. Right? I think this is right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Large square rug. Thank you very much. Yeah, this should be it. So we've got lots of those to find. There we go. Pretty sure that was it. If it wasn't, we're going to have to run back through there. And I don't want to do that. Hi, kitty. You go spend time with me? Come over here, baby girl. Make your biscuits. Not 
Thanks, my girl. All right, let's see. Maybe a uh, dragon with three heads. I wish. There it is. All right, so that was it. There's one section where we literally have to get a lot of them. Which one was it? Seven and nine. So there's five there. Look at how many are there. Six there. Nine there. Yeah, we, we are still, we're only 74 of 177. And we still have 40 Merlin Trials to go. Five Demiguy statues. One more there. Two more there. I mean, there's some that we, like, literally nine in this area. And they're all, like, there's a lot of them here. Let me show you. Like, literally, there was this one where I didn't go to any inside any of the houses. Didn't go inside any of the houses. Hey, baby. What's up, girl? Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's see here. There's one right here. Revelio. There's the frog choir stand. Oh, we can get a frog choir. That's cool. Yeah, see all these. Don't need that. Yeah, little ribbits. They make ribbit noises. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Pretty much all this. Alohomora. <laughs> if it's there, I'm gonna get it. Try to finish with two thousand moonstone. All right, there we go. There's a collection one. Rebellion. There's the Christmas tree. There's the Christmas tree. Now I can put a Christmas tree in my thing. Um, yeah, we got to go across there. I was like, man, where's that Christmas tree? Oh, there's a Demi guys in here. What do we have here? So we'll have to wait till... Nightfall to grab this one. Revelio. There's basket weave red for one handles. I don't know if it's random. I'll definitely have to check. What I'll do is I'll probably. That's interesting. I'll probably no, I don't like that. I'll probably do uh, the second playthrough. I'll go pick up something that's close to the castle, and that way. Not bad. Blood Red. I wish that they had the one that I have or one of the other ones that I have in that same color. Like, if they had that one in red, this one in red, I think I'd like it more this wand style. Like, they had that in red. Even this one would be dope. There's a few more. You can see there's still three more I've got to get. So we'll see what else comes down the pike. I think there was one behind this one there. Rebellion. Nope. They're all this way. And there's a camp right here, so we'll definitely go to that camp. Yeah, I feel like some of these are just like random. 
I do think it's a completely random uh wonder who lives here. Rebellion. Collection thing. That's what I think, but I don't know that for my buddy has the avian one handle, cool shell one. Avian gray, yeah. I'm not sure if I have that one or not yet. Medium ground coverings. Right, there's two. There's three. Celestial light gray. Let's check that one out. Ah, that's interesting. Let's roll with that one. So yeah, it looks like we can get a lot more brooms. So we gotta figure out what these broom ones are, cause there's like six broom. Look at these. Oh, there's like nine more. So we gotta figure that out. This one looks like the Cadillac. <laughs> oh, brooms. Alright. Let me see here. Eyes are hurting. Alright, let's go ahead and put that one on. It's right here. Yep. Just land right in. <laughs> they call it the Vin Diesel. The Vin Diesel broom. All right. Okay. So you get that one to. There's cruelty. Okay, we're getting closer. I didn't even know about this. Alohomora. <laughs> Yikes. All right, where does this thing go? My guess is up there. My guess is it goes into this cave. Yep. Never too far. Investigate. Ah, did I already get this one? One looks like I already did this one before. Right. Revelio. Not Leviosa. What am I doing? That one. Leviosa. Oops. There we go. Alright. Oh, calculus, was that, uh... Tolson? Is that Tolson? Chandler? I don't remember Chandler. I don't know if I remember Chandler. Chandler, Chandler, Chandler. Chandler. Man. I remember Tolson. Young. Cool. 
Oh, there we go. One less poacher in the wizard. Ah. That one I don't know if I remember. Binding one. Oh man, that's not. That's not ringing a bell for me. The only one I remember, I remember Ariana was in class with me, and I think it was Tolson. And he did not like me at all. I don't know if he didn't like me. I'm like. Putting that on that guy. No idea. Been a long fangs one. Been a long time. See, so I'll have to. Let me see if there's a collection chest that's closer to hog squirts. Because then I might be able to. I might not be. A... It's so long ago that I'm like having some trouble remembering who that could be. Let me see if there's a collection chest over here. Alright, so we've only got uh, 7 to 10 in this area. 7 to 9. So the chance we can go here. There's one there. And we need one here. No, we need, so that one's good. So is it in Hogwarts? Oh, there's a lot in Hogwarts. Alright, so it might be up here then. Let's go here because we can get here pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Allegedly, 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 and that wasn't me. That never happened. Mine now, Demi guys. How do I? I don't think it's dark enough yet, huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. No clue. So where is this one at? In here. What level is this lock? One. All right. So we can get this one pretty quickly. So we're gonna. I'm gonna test this theory. I'm not saying. <laughs> Bro. Nope. All right. So. Telescope. Okay, so we're gonna write this down. We're gonna test this. We're gonna see if this is random roll. If this is random dice rolls. Or if this is actual. It's always in the same chest. Telescope. 
It's a level one lock, so that shouldn't be. <laughs> oh no, not the Sonic trips. Not hanging out at the Sonic drive through. <laughs> All right, so this is South Hogwarts. We're gonna test this out. I'm gonna see if it's always the same. So this is Lower Hogsfield. We're just gonna see. So when I do the replay, I'm gonna see if it's the same or not. All right. There's another collection chest somewhere. It's gotta be that one. Yeah, this is the this is the place where this dude hates me. This dude hates me in this town. He's like, why? Watch this. Let me show you. I cannot buy anything from this dude. Not that I'd want to, because he probably didn't have anything. Watch this. Come on, talk some smack. You know you want to. Yes, Thought you might have joined the Ashwinders by now. Rebellion. They should definitely let me demolish him. So yeah. Revelio. Okay, here's that one. Cruelty three. So we're just we're just gonna I'm gonna keep some tabs here. See, so cruelty three. And this is right above Arsh, 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 Arsh. Aranshire. Okay. I just want to see if it's random or not. You know what I mean? They are random? Oh, man, that stinks. Could have just Googled it. So there's a nine. Still got. Five Merlin trials here. Ah, so that means you really have to do them all and hope that you get lucky. I mean, we got a lot of those camps done. There's a couple collection chests up there. Those are good. We're missing one there. And this one might be in like one of these places like that. Because I didn't, I don't know if I did the treasure vaults. So I guess next time, I will probably just do it. And speaking of next time, I think we're, I think we're pretty much there. Because this stuff I can do whenever. It might be time to uh, to go ahead and start my second one. Uh, executioner. So we gotta slow him down. Stand still. You're done, Alright, right, well. Rebellion. 
much to do here now. So, all right, well, we'll do that. There's 155, and there's a website dedicated to all of their locations. Yeah, I don't even know if I need the location. I was hoping that I could get the locations of where certain things were. But if they're random, it doesn't even matter. You just pretty much got to... And it appears that, like, I don't really need to worry about when I get one. Because even, like, getting to level 40, I mean, you see the map. The only thing left to do now is, like, some of this stuff. Like, camps and stuff and lots of Merlin trials, which level 40 is not going to help me with anyway. So, I don't know. But let me go back to Hog Squirts. Make sure I can save this and then we'll start on well at least build the character tonight do all that kind of stuff get going on the main story um yeah let me what will make this thing do it. You might have. Oh shit, let me go. Let me check this large square rug. Let me move this back into my. Uh, no, we want that there. We want that there. That's that's how I got accustomed to it. Let me get on here. Bam. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so that's that. What are we getting here? We got the telescope. I don't think we have a window to put the telescope out of. <laughs> Is that it in here? Yeah. And then Christmas tree. There we go. <laughs> it would have been nice to get that, you know what I mean? Way before the end of the school year in July. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Alright. Bam. Alright, we're good. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to start a new one. Alright, new character. Let's do this. We're pleased to inform you you've been accepted to Hogwarts. Fifth year student, first of September. Preliminary supplies. Of course, those get destroyed. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Give me one second. I'm going to take a quick break here. Go to the bathroom before we start this thing up. Maybe one second.
should be back. I have to check if the sound and everything is working. Let me see here. Testing looks good. Nice. Alright, let's transition to the game. I'll give it a few seconds. Let's see if everybody's here. Before I start. Make sure everybody's good before I start. Check in real quick on uh, 99 92 at halftime. What kind, of, what kind of thing? Give it a minute or two. Want to make sure uh, Thomas is back here if he wants to watch this. We're going to do a little bit a uh, little bit more on the career. All right, let's go ahead and start this thing up. All right. Let's get into this thing. All right. All right. Let's change the difficulty to hard. All right, we want a griffin, griffin boar. So let's find a griffin boar. Let's see here. We did the uh, the white guy with blonde hair thing. Is that the same face I used earlier? Or is that it? Nice, that looks like my brother. There we go, that looks like the most Griffin Dorish type thing to me. Let's make a. Uh...
There we go. See what we can do here. <laughs> nah, we won't. Sarah Lee. Ooh. I'm hungry right now, so we might have to get some food here in a second, too. We're going to go with that. See much of a difference in some of these. Give him some red cheeks. There we go, some brown eyes. I think that's pretty decent there. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. Let's go there. Let's go there. It's wonderful. I believe I'm. I am indeed a student. Let's try the deeper one this well time. Let's you. go with uh a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Let's go with Gary Trotter. <laughs> there we go. Gary Trotter, wizard. Alright. He looks like a griffin boar. He sure is. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly. You have an echo in his voice. Wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working oh, with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West. Eleazar! <laughs> It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak... Uh, no, I mind. We had a start of Because, uh... Sorting ceremony to get you being on this is what the... As long as it's what the dragon attacks. Mind me tagging along? Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of... Let rocks. me know if you're still here in a delay. We 
honestly might have to learn the uh <laughs> yeah I'm definitely playing with uh you might have I'm not sure I definitely ain't gonna have ray tracing on the whole time let me turn this down that way you can see the difference because I did it without it first the shiny the shiny is much better with ray tracing on There's all my school supplies and my owl. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, Gary. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. Gary Trotter. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? Can't tell if the voice is any and different or not. Student. New. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, uh, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. <laughs> Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Uh oh. Mr. Osric is prone to uh -oh. flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? At all. I have. Opinions differ. It's about to get real. Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock uh -oh. before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Bloop. Before I could respond, I uh -oh. received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like golden uh -oh. metal. That symbol. What about the What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Ah. Merlin's beard. Every time. We did. He's alive. He got out of there. Nah, he got out of there, man. I love how you can't see him. That guy dies, and now you can see him. That's such a smart. That's just such a smart little edit right there. He saw death and now the Thestrals appeared. Alright. Got to see this little part again. Gary Trotter. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. <clears throat> Take this. It's Wigan Well potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Welcome, man. Looks like somebody just joined. Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, 
Where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Definitely. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay oh, yeah. We no idea yeah, that's... Uh, key. Oh, I'll definitely let you know the next time we're going to do it again, but that's... Uh, it's the last mission before where we were. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Am I? The port key was meant to lead us there. There she goes. Ah. This has not been the day either <laughs> of us expected. But Miriam oh, sent baby girl. that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead yeah, to. I think there's an echo on this voice. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's I think that's why I chose the voice I did the first time. However faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that Oop. seems to have been lost, lost a little time. Bit. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came <laughs> into possession of the port key. Oh yeah, this way. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. <laughs> Sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Yeah. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Pretty much anybody with a wand can uh, get in here. It's not really a great enchantment. <laughs> it's not particularly the best enchantment. Where he does the trailer thing. Now. It's just ahead. I don't want to do that. Steady yourself. Repair. How do I do that? Streamlabs desktop. Let me see. Let me see here.
dashboard. Let's see here. Second here. I was hoping I could just do it from. See that one. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, so I might not do that right now. I am not seeing it. Where to do it at? I'm in the Streamlabs desktop. I'm not seeing. Maybe, is it an editor, maybe? Some reason when I go there, So because I'm in uh, Streamlabs, I'm not in, uh, I wasn't logged into uh, Twitch. Let me see here. Should be able to do it now. Under the creator dashboard. Yep. Edit stream info, right? Yep, there it is. Hogwarts Legacy. There we go, that should be right. 
right? Look good? Alright, that should be good. Is this what you want? Alright. So I think that worked. i trying to do like four things right now, so I'm going to order this food real quick. second I'll be right with you That's good. Right. I think we're good to go now. Alright, so. One second, Thomas. I'll be right with you, bro. bro. She wanted a fish sandwich. Alright, right, that's done. We should be good to go now. Okay. You're definitely clown. You already know. It's definitely the clown. That's uh, 
The king! Alright, let me make sure. Alright, here we go. Alright. Sorry, dude. He's like, man, I'm, it's like really windy on this cliff. Everything's blowing and I'm literally just standing here. <laughs> no, yeah. Almost there. Leave none of these things. I got a, I got one of their chicken sandwiches. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his <laughs> home. I feel like they knew that people were going to do this. So they just put all these pots here. I feel like that was intentional. Well, let's see. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room? What room? I don't see Let's do it. There's that glow, yeah, da, 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 da. like the glow on the port key container. Turn around. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? Wake up. I don't believe it. Gary Trotter. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, where are you? <clears throat> Sup? <clears throat> you... Yes. Welcome to Gringotts Wizard. Absolutely. Bank. Why would not? Vote number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. Thank you. The key. White's porky. Oh, follow yes, him. Of course. What are you doing? You watch your mama. This way, then. Stay close. Hey, pretty girl. <whistles> yeah. After you. Same. Wish 
hundreds of artifacts. Mm. Hundreds. <laughs> In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to World What's that? As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or oh, both God. could have arranged for such a service. Oh, God. No comment. You want to take a breath? A what? No oh, comment, bro, bro. Ugh. Bray. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. He resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I don't know Bree and Bray. Vault number. Vault 12. Not sure about that one. Obviously, I know the second part of that. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I don't. I don't know the first part. Like the glow you saw on the porky. I'm not sure. No. I saw that same glow. No, no, no. He. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He the was doing something the else. I know. I know the story you're talking about. Red I want to get too in, too there. into it on this, oh. but. Yeah. He, no, that was everybody. Everybody was with somebody else. Pretty sure. He was with somebody else. Here we are. No. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. When was the last time this he was doing his own thing. A goblin has been stationed Same with everybody else in there. They else had their own little thing. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Yeah. Uh. Horrible and disgusting. Horrible and disgusting. That part was just the worst experiences of my life. Thank you for your help. Alright, let's make sure. Alright. And Alright, let's do this. Bailey. Oh, I I think I know which one you're talking about. What do you suppose? Pretty sure I know which one you're talking about. I'm not sure. So, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the Oh, stories. And then close the door. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> oh, stories. Professor, that was <laughs> certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. You doing crazy? Revelia. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. <laughs> yeah, we were able to be pretty wild. Especially, you know. The fact that so many of us, uh. There. Oh I no, I forgot to get that chest. Ah, oh, I forgot to grab that before I walked in here. Maybe I can grab that on the way out. I don't think we go. I think we. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow. I think we have to. 
If what you can see reveals the way forward, teleporter, I like to uh, apparate out of here. To so I, the of this I get to get that chest. I don't think it was anything. I think it's just like a couple coins, though. Lumos. Rebellion. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean uh -huh. earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to it. what end, I can't say. Rebellion, stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah, I think there's a uh, yarn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was that was quite a time. Like um. I feel like the fact the that a lot of us did not have present it? parents that glow again but on the floor definitely contributed to a lot of that because I pretty much just uh what happened? rolled when around and did whatever glow, most days <laughs> was swirling about are you all right Yes, whatever we wanted fine. to, whatever we wanted to. You seem to have caused the floor to change. <sighs> that statue. It's sleepy. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be faster. Must. It's definitely going to be faster. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be much harder. Jesus. Using all of them. As close as I can be, bro. <laughs> Stay close. Of course, he's gone. Lumos. Professor! <sighs> Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Rebellion. What's happening? Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Rebellion. Yeah, I think it's just coins, so we didn't really Lumos. miss anything. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Yeah, the puzzles will be a lot easier to figure out now. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Yeah. Right, 
about this. Been doing it. I got Lumos. everything Revenue. I could have gotten in here. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Boom. How hard? Uh, it's still going to be hard. I, uh, definitely when I get to enemies that are not level ones. It'll be definitely more challenging, especially when I get to that dragon. When I get to that dragon, that's going to be... Because it was hard on normal. Or at least decently hard. I died once, which... You know, there's other games where you die 40, 50, 100 times. So, Because this game is not as challenging as, like... You know, some other games that are... Very difficult. I don't think it's quite like that. So I don't think it's going to be the hardest thing I've ever played. But there it's still, I mean, How did you... it's still going to be decently difficult. What is this difficult. place? I don't know. So. But I found this. It's definitely that dragon one, though. I'm probably going to die like, you know, 20, 30, 40 times. That is no mere mason. As opposed that to, you know, pencil. some games on normal where you die 100 you and you're like, oh mason? my goodness. I might be done. I wonder... Okay. We might end up taking a break here in about 20 or 30 to eat. Got a good playthrough though. We're at about three and a half hours or almost four hours. We're going to find out. There's the dude's house. The guy that owned that house. We'll see. I mean, I didn't think it was really... I didn't feel any difference in the difficulty so far, so we'll see. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible for you. It will only be impossible for one who can <sighs> see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot... We're going to do a completely different run, completely different house. We are entrusting the one Let's see how this goes. Path ...with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain yes and if we are correct charles the ritual wizard who completes the trial mm. to have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it come on come on girl we can that's what you're seeing the glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient Proof. magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died we, in pursuit we, of we, knowledge oh. that has been dormant for centuries. Time to go. And you, it seems, uh -oh. are the key to understanding why. Uh-oh. 
We were all looked rather different when it did a moment ago. Someone's coming. Who were they? Uh oh. I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. Ah. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite oh. clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you be careful. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? giving you anything hmm. well perhaps your young friend here will be more ouch uh oh Time to run. Hey, babe. So powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly it is. unaffected by my magic. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We there we go. To get to. Maybe. Just gonna, oh, I don't think anything changed. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do Hufflepuff instead. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, <laughs> I need to study this locket as soon as I can. But first, I must. You don't want to do Gryffindor? Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. 
Ready for the sorting ceremony? Uh oh. Phineas, my jealous black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were your limits. Complications. Complications. Rumors, Fig. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Do it. How full puff it is. We might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I want to go to ask you, man. <laughs> Ooh, the hate. Professor Weasley. The hate is fuming by me. That. <laughs> You're just in time. Have a seat. Yes, yes. Sharon's behind me. She's like, you better do Gryffindor, because I want to do Hop Up Hop. A bit older than the others, aren't you? <laughs> you come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Right. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the worlds beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect yeah. a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Possessor. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see what just happened. It went now. <laughs> yeah, I think it was meant to choose Hufflepuff. I think that's uh, uh oh Gary Trotter Half all scruff Dang it There we go. It worked. Better be all right. What more? The developers decided we could not put it in the game, the so Quidditch has been cancelled. This year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are All here right. to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, because it looks good on the TV. So it has to be. <sighs> I don't know what how to fix that, though. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley, 
Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. Hmm. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. No, no, no. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Maybe it'll be better I'll be next back time. In the morning to collect you for your first class. I could also just switch Thank to you, the Professor thing Weasley. and see if that, that does it as well. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Nice. All right. Looks like everyone's it's gone. gonna be our room. Okay. Let's head to the common room. Revelio. Here's the common room. This must go up to the this six and seven year <laughs> students. Ooh, a level two lot. Watch your mouth. Here we go. Clearly. Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet yes. you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Thanks, Dick's. dude. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor no. Weasley? I am. No. She's my aunt. <laughs> Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm nope. almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a mod... Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh... Creativity as much as you might think. Yeah, my uh Well it was nice Boop. meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the My voice has a bit of an echo. I've well. noticed that when you Good change the voice it kinda oh. Rebellion. And here's the Gryffindor token one here. 
What's the house chest? Don't fall off this time, Nelly. She is anyway. Wait, that's not right. I really thought I had it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? No. no. <laughs> I merely studied him for <laughs> briefly before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non Yeah, my food's counseling. almost here, so I think I'll, I'll get a little into this, and then I'll probably take a take a oh, break for the night. Yes, having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. <laughs> I know. Good job. Don't worry. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. Oh. I'm just going to keep. Yeah, I gotta get to bed. Not too, not too soon. Well, I'm sure she'll want to play a little nice bit to more too. You as well. Enjoy your first day. You're just making me think she is I'm like, am I supposed to trip her? Don't fall off this time, Nelly. <laughs> am I supposed to grab her off of there and pull her down? <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower. Goodness. I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? <laughs> about the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive really? by a train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. So what else is in here? So you Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Rebellion. That goes up there. Uh, that must be boys, this must be girls, right? Let me see. Right, so that's girls. But I didn't see enough. Yes, I won't be going up there. Things. Okay. Ah, okay. It must go down this way then to the Rebellion. other ones. Yeah, that's gonna be fifth. Is this fourth? Where are the other ones at? Right, this is fourth. Where's that? I don't know. Cause that's fifth years. This is mine. That goes up. Hmm. I have to figure all that out. Good 
morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at With Hogwarts. four years of work. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining oh, us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the nice. University, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your book. success. Uh. Here you are. You know, and if it just if it was just in the book, I could have just read it. What is it? All right. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Steve. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. The guide appears to have some information for you about <laughs> that painting of poor Barufio. Revelio. Revelio on it. There we go. All right. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste, you classes to attend. Nice. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flute flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and be Defense great. Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you <laughs> get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor oh, Weasley. Wonderful. A lot to absorb on your first day, <laughs> and you have much to learn. 
Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. Or how he found me. Professor. He's how he knows vague as to the events preceding your arrival. How he knows I'm a fifth year with exceptional ability. Awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. You know what I mean? How did he know I had that ability? We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, uh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They have a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely nice. on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide? Of course. Good luck today. <laughs> and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your All righty. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you? She caught me off guard. I will say. Well, we do, because I, I beat it already, yes, but. Well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. Understood, Professor. Good. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of. Speaking of guides. And so that I may avoid another not so subtle. Why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides? Unfold it and have a look. is enchanted to help you find your way this will be incredibly helpful thank you now sounds like you've quite a day ahead what with classes you'll enjoy mr ollivander he's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend All i right. shall reach out when I, for now focus on gonna... your classes and pay attention more than your owls I'm may gonna stop magic, there you are I think that's a good place to stop. Wait, eat. Spend some time with the lady friend. There we go. Alright, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody that stopped by. Including Thomas, you were pretty much here the entire time. <laughs> thanks, guys. See you next time. Probably tomorrow. Maybe the next day. See you, bro, bro. Hehehehe. <laughs>